Hey folks, during the month of April, we're going to talk about one of my favorite subjects after the Bible and grace, and that is developing good people skills with our children. Uh, one of the reasons that we homeschool is that we can teach our kids to properly interact with all ages. Socialization is one reason that we do homeschool. And I think it's very important today that we, we go past just a, you know, a firm handshake and a good eye contact, though there's a place for those things. But I want to begin today to kind of challenge some paradigms really more of parents than of our children. And one paradigm that I want to address is the fact that God created both extroverts and introverts. Now, I realize that's probably not earth-shattering to a lot of people, but I would suggest that sometimes we don't act like God created both of those. I've grown up in the church. If you know your old English, Kirk means church. It's where I spent most of my life, either growing up or in professional work. And I've watched how we de-spiritualize those who are introverted and we spiritualize those who are extroverted. Again, just being honest here, folks. Uh, you know, we've got all the one another's in the scriptures. Love one another, serve one another, be kind to one another. And that's more natural for extroverts to do, at least on a larger scale. Now, introverts, they will encourage one another. They'll be kind to one another. But it's usually on a, a smaller scale, one or two people. Where the extrovert likes the masses... The introverts like just the one or two. The, the former likes quantity, the latter likes quality. But sadly enough, uh, they're often penalized because they're not out there enough doing the spiritual things. Does that make sense? Uh, and this is really true in our home. You know, we have 11 kids, as many of you know, and we have the whole range from very extroverted to very introverted and everything in between there. And it's been really interesting to watch the different dynamics. It's been good for me as a parent because I'm very extroverted. And so it's been good for me to see how introverts work. My wife's an introvert. And so we've had to work together over the years to find that gear that meshes well for us. Uh, for instance, just here in the last couple, two or three months, uh, two of my daughters who kind of represent the, the polar opposites, they had uh, similar activities to go to about the same longevity of time, about the same number of people. Well, when my, intro, my extroverted daughter came home, I mean, she was, she was pumped up. She was hyper. She was energized. She was talking faster than I do because extroverted people are energized by crowds. Whereas the uh, introverted daughter came home, I mean, she was wiped out. She was so tired, almost on the verge of tears, I would think. Because for most introverts, a lot of people tend to be a drain on them. Because they'd rather have one or two people to invest in rather than the masses, as I've spoken of. Now, it's very important for us as parents to bless what God is blessing. Uh, oftentimes, one parent will say, well, this child, you need to get out more. You need to be more, more focused, more social with other people because they're an introvert. And very seldom, until they get a little bit older and they get on people's nerves, do they tell the extrovert to dial it down a little bit. Social skills are kind of like academic skills. Uh, I believe academically, we want to bless what God is blessing uh, if our kids are more of a word kid, not a numbers kid, I think they still need to be competent in math to do the basics of adding, subtracting, dividing, multiplying. They need to have a skill set of, of communicating properly with people through, through the written word and through the spoken word. And then you've got your sciences and your history and things of like that on the side with that. But the point is, they need a certain level of competency just foundationally. But then after that, we want to bless what God is blessing. If they're really good in math, let's move math or we give them more numbers. Maybe they'll be a, an engineer or something. If they're more of a word person, maybe they'll be a writer or something of that nature. We want to bless what God is blessing. That's also true when it comes to introverted and extrovertedness. Now, our kids all need to know how to speak well how to use good grammar, how to take social cues, how to interact with others who might be beneath them as far as uh, social interaction goes. I don't care if they're an extrovert or an introvert. They need that basic level. We'll talk about what that looks like. 
But we also need to remember that God made some to actually feed off of people, while others just more of a drain. Both have a place in God's economy because both have been created by God. And so going forward from this first week, I would really challenge you parents, think about your children. Do you really see both the extroverts and the introverts being created in God's image? Or do we tend to want the introvert to be more like the extrovert? So toss that around for a couple days. You might even talk about it in a devotional setting with your older kids. You might be surprised what will come out. This is Kirk Smith with ICHE's Take 5.